Katja here and you're so welcome uh, to this tutorial for Finatip team. Have you seen these gorgeous uh, art journal books? Uh, five by five uh, against eight and it's a shipboard cover so it's perfect to use for your mixed media projects and alter. And I will do a personal cover for this. Uh, sometimes I do them before I do something in my journals, but here I have decided I I want to do decorate them, so I haven't do any journal pages inside. And uh, I start with uh, this uh, gorgeous uh, tissue paper, Romantica. And uh, I know already when I start that perhaps the paper will not show so much. Uh, but I think if uh, it uh, shows a little bit, I have uh, achieved something about my idea. Uh, because I want to give only a, li a little bit touch of this uh, gorgeous paper. Uh, I don't cut the paper. I want to make uh, the, it a little bit randomly. So that's why I tear it. I use soft matte gel to glue it and I add it on the shipboard cover and uh, also on the surface and be careful on the surface because I go a little bit too much on the surface and you because when it's uh, wet the surface it's very easy that it uh, you make some mistakes and you see me doing it here I broke a little bit of the paper but I don't mind I know I will add something more so I simply take a little bit piece of tissue paper and add it to on the cover and I'm thinking I will add it with some paint. Here I will paint with black heavy gesso not all over the surface because I will keep some of the tissue paper to be shown and uh, this is because I want my cover to be more black and silvery. I have a vision. So you see I'm leaving some parts in the middle to be like that. But almost all cover is black and leaving some parts. Here I have some embellishments that I like to use. Uh, I have many some embellishment with resin and also have some shipboard. And I know I want to use the matte waxes and then it's very important that you have added a gesso on your embellishments or the surface because otherwise the matte wax it's uh, or the metallic wax also and all of the kind of paints it will not stay and especially with you do when you do resin or metallics it's important because the it's so uh, the surface is glossy on my um, shipboard pieces it's more it goes i all, also had some straws and i haven't mm, painted it and I'm so sad I didn't do that. I have this uh, stencil, vintage wallpaper and uh, icing paste, the old silver and adding it a little bit randomly around the tissue paper. I had a vision when I started this uh, cover that I wanted to be more silvery. Uh, many projects that I do are copper and gold feelings and I was thinking it's time to do a silvery project and uh, that was I had in mind more silver and uh, with a touch of brown blue something like that 
Uh, and it's very important when you use icing paste to clean your stencils. Here I have metallic paint, the silver spoon, and now I want on the black parts, I'm carefully dry brushing because I want to add some silvery uh, surface on the black. I don't want to keep it black. I want it to be like uh, metallic. So I'm carefully dry brushing and it's so easy to have too much paint and here I'm very careful because I want it to be silvery but not big blobs of uh, paint. And uh, yeah, and uh, it goes over the icing paste and uh, you see me, I do the back side at the same time when I'm doing my front page. Hope you like this tutorial. Please leave a comment and give a thumbs up and if you like. And uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe also and click the bell button so you will have notifications when um, there are new video. And I love to read your comments. Please, please, please leave a comment or if you have any questions. Okay, now it's time to glue the embellishment. Uh, and I use the 3D material. I could have used the heavy body gel, it works also. And um, I'm thinking a little bit about the composition around and I think round pieces uh, gives uh, very, very much interest and uh, to something that is uh, square. And now I'm adding my decorations and uh, I'm to have uh, the frame up. I have something that it will be layering and this gears from the Me Mechanica mold is perfect to keep the things in place on the same height and also send some metallic paint, metallic embellishments. And I have shoes to not paint them. Uh, Perhaps uh, I should have done this in different steps. Uh, but now I did it like this. And I have some straw. And I'm a little bit sad afterward that I didn't paint them white. But I wasn't really sure when I started if I should have painted them white. But if you want to add uh, straws on your project, Yes, please paint them with gesso before because I had a really, really problem with them to uh, to paint them because I was try to fill them in some gaps, the straws, and that's a problem to paint them afterwards. But it worked, but it can be a little bit tricky. So you see, I'm gluing my resins, my shipboard, metallic embellishments uh, and try to make composition and uh, I'm trying to keep also the odd numbers on some decoration. And if I have some 3D material, I have a clean uh, small brush to take it off. And now comes the tricky part to paint uh, my details and the straws and uh, I want to paint one more time to be sure uh, where I will paint that uh, I have covered it and also I want to have a little bit white gesso on the background so I'm not only painted the decorations, the embellishments. I try also paint a little bit in the background, but I don't want to have uh, too many uh, sharp edges. That's why I'm going over with a baby wipe. Because you see me, I'm using also my fingers on the background because I want to add a little bit of uh, waxes here in the background and 
I want to have the gesso on the surface so it will stick uh, the matte waxes. Okay, I have the waxes on my table and uh, I really like the charcoal black. It's like steel color or something like that. And I have a really bad brush. It's an old makeup brush and I use it only for waxes and adding it here and there and if I have too much uh, of the, the waxes, I wipe it off also with my fingers and with the baby wipe. Don't wait too long to like wipe it off. Uh, it dries really quickly. Uh, now here in Sweden it's not uh, it's really cold but I'm thinking on the summer weather it will dry really really quickly so you need to work in uh, small places and uh, work to add paint and wipe it off and uh, here you see me do a small mistake I don't have a really clean clean a uh, clean brush so my rusty red gets not the red color really so I do it again and adding and turning my project around so I can go on the white places because I don't want to keep so many white places even if I want to have my focal point more standing out and that I can achieve with the white. So I'm doing the same on the background, adding the waxes and wiping off. Uh, and I realize I need to have a little bit above from my rusty brown. And that was not my intention from the beginning, but it's okay to change your mind because I believe in the process that you take every step and watch and to see what what uh, what you can do with it and to never be scared if the project doesn't look what your vision was uh, about it's because it's okay to change your mind and uh, you have paint and gesso and waxes and all different mediums and paints so it's uh, you can always adding something to achieve something that you can feel happy about here i have the patina blue and i have only only small touch of it i don't want my product to be completely blue only a little bit with the blue feeling and now I'm feeling really happy and I let my matte waxes to dry a little bit so I'm uh, uh, adding the spine I don't think and uh, adding it so I can see how it will look and see what can I do more because I was not really happy about it so now I'm going over with the white, uh, old white wax and I'm using my finger because I really want it to come on the top. And this is to give more to interest to my focal point with the crown and the frame and also adding white around it. And now I give more interest to my crown that is my focal point and on the back i'm choosing a little bit randomly and adding the white on on three places so i'm going over this to have the whiteness that i'm happy about now i have the old denim i like to frame and yes here i'm using the old denim blue to frame my journal and i'm doing a mistake 
I'm adding a little bit blue on the straws that was white from the beginning. Oh, oh no. Why did I do that? But it's okay. I'm wiping off quickly and adding the white wax again. But that's uh, what's happened when you're working in the flow. I also had old silver because, like I said, I want to have the silver touch on the filling. So on a few places I'm having the old silver and adding on a few places the old denim to give the blue and the silvery touch. And I think this uh, color scheme I'm very happy about. So that's really what I was looking for. Something missing. So I'm thinking about the Melange Art Pebbles and the uh, white pearl uh, acrylic paint. And I'm painting some acrylic paint on the back side of the pebbles. And you can use any color that you like. And I could use a blue or silvery color. I'm thinking about that. But I haven't never painted my pebbles white. So I'm thinking, why not? I was thinking to do them black also. So it was a difficult uh, choice. Uh, but like here, I did it uh, white and I glue them with um, glue and I was done the mistake here. I haven't decided where the pebbles should be where I glue them. So I'm going around with them a little bit and change my mind. And I'm so sorry that I'm a little bit out of the camera here. But I was so anxious to finish my project. Uh, and that's how I am. In the end, I want to work so fast as possible because I'm so anxious to get ready to finish my project. Anyway, I'm happy for my new cover. And I hope you like my tutorial. And uh, let me know what you think. And please get inspired and... Uh, Hashtag me and Finnabar if you get inspired on Instagram or if you do videos or something. Please, we are happy for that. We do videos to inspire you. Okay, I'm happy and uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.